Now I've been calling the summer board the street snowboard for a while now because I truly think that this machine turns pavement literally into a groomer. But you guys have not been shy of letting me know that, dude, that is not a snowboard. And you're not wrong, okay? The summer board definitely isn't a snowboard, but it's very similar. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys all the reasons why this is not a snowboard if the looks isn't enough for you. And before we get too far into this video, let's just talk about what is the summer board. Now this is an electric skateboard with a 300 160 degree wheel that can literally rip anywhere. You literally rock from one set of wheels to the other set of wheels, just like you would with a snowboard. And that's why I like to call it the street snowboard because you're using a lot of the same body positions and muscle memory that you do with snowboarding when you're rocking a summer board. But how is this different than a snowboard? Well, for starters, this thing is pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie. I would be a liar if I said the summer board wasn't a uh, somewhat heavy piece of machinery. But once you're like on the road riding around, you don't feel that way. It's not something that's attached to you. You go into the terrain park or skate parks and you hit jumps and do things like I like to do, that's when you start feeling the weight or if you just kind of walk around and hold it or hold it for a video. Things got a little bit of girth to her so it will be heavier than a snowboard. But unlike a snowboard, you don't need a crazy hill to go down with. With a snowboard, you're very limited. You need a mountain like the ones behind me to ride your snowboard. With the summer board, you can literally ride it on the flattest road. I got a comment the other day that was like, I don't have a lot of hills around me. I can't get one of these. It's electric. It could go 12 miles up to 28 miles per hour. You can literally rip this thing anywhere as long as you've got smooth pavement it doesn't even have to be the smoothest pavement as long as you got pavement you can get on the summerboard and rip around now it does have bindings or footholds like a snowboard does but these are not like snowboard bindings you're not fully strapped in to the summerboard so you can bail off whenever you need if you get a weird grab or you are not in the right body position you can jump off the summerboard you are not stuck to the board allowing you to get away so you can say goodbye to those brutal toe catches and heel catches you're not going to catch an edge on the summerboard i actually made an entire video about how you're not gonna catch an edge on a summer board. Also with the summer board, it's not weather dependent. So if you hate snow and you don't want to come snowboarding because you don't wanna be on snow, you don't need snow to ride the summer board where if you wanna go snowboarding, you have to have snow. On top of that, if there is snow, as long as the roads are dry, you can literally jump on the summer board and still ride it. So you're not weather dependent when you're rocking a summer board. Now the maintenance on the summer board is also a lot different. With a snowboard, you're waxing it every three to four days of going snowboarding. With the summer board, you just got to charge it and you don't have to do it every single time you take it out to ride it. You got to charge it consistently. That's about it. You don't have to do much else to it. Occasionally you can rotate the wheels to make the wheels last longer, but that's the only replaceable part that you need on this thing. Where with the snowboard, you know, you're waxing it. Eventually the edges wear out on them. The board gets a little warped, things like that. So summer board, one time purchase, you get this thing, you're ready to rip. Another thing that makes the summer board different than a snowboard is that this can become a commute commit, commitment, commute, a means of travel. You can use this to go from place to place. I know I've had to like take my car into the shop and then I would just take the summer board and, and ride to my buddy's house or go do some errands on the summer board and it can take you to work from home to work, all kinds of stuff. It's not just a toy. Like you can use this for transportation if you live in a city, things like that, which is super rad. I also like that the summer board can take you to incredible views just like your snowboard does. You can ride a lot of the mountain trails up here in the mountains and get close, if not all the way up to a lot of these views that you're seeing on your snowboard, but on the summer board. Now, those are all the differences I could see between the summer board and a snowboard. But honestly, I still think this is the street snowboard. You're in the same body positions. You can take it into a skate park and rip all the types of stuff that you would want to do also on your snowboard. I know for me, I've always wanted to skate stair sets and I like couldn't do them because I wasn't that good at skating. But I got on the summer board and I was like, oh, I could hit these stairs, merely hitting stairs because I could do it on my snowboard. Then I could do it on my summer board. 180s, presses, all kinds of rad tricks are now available to me in the summertime that I didn't have because of the summer board. If you're just ripping trails, once again, it turns pavement into a groomer. You're rocking from one edge to the other, just like you would on your snowboard. I literally love the summer board. It's my new summer addiction. And if you guys want to pick one of these up, you guys can and save $100 by using code JB100. Summer board is a sponsor of this channel. And I'm so happy they are because I love making summer content with the summer board. I love I, I love ripping it. Like today, it was too nasty on the mountain. I was like, I'm just gonna go home, ride my summer board around my driveway because it's so much fun. And then soon all the mountain trails are gonna melt out when we're doing missions and things like that. So bag yourself a summer board. It takes like two or three days to kind of really figure it out. Just like snowboarding, take some time to kind of get it. Once you got it though, you are ripping around having the raddest time. So snag a summer board. And with that, T-Milk House, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on the channel. We do stuff like this. Daily.